Hi my foodie friends. So today I wanted to um, show some of my favorite bronzer brushes in my collection. Honestly, bronzer is my favorite <laughs> makeup application and favorite brush to buy. So I could honestly do like probably a multiple part series of all my favorite bronzer brushes. <laughs> I just wanted to kind of slim it down to about six just for today. Um, but yeah, so the first one is the Hakahodo F1342. This is Blue Squirrel and Goat Mix. And of course it's a fan brush and it is 36 millimeters. Soft as always. What I really love about Hakahodo's Goat Squirrel Mix is you really get the best of both worlds because it's very soft, but yet it picks up product beautifully and it diffuses beautifully. So you get the resilience of the goat and then you get the softness of squirrel. So it really is amazing. And with the shape of this brush and how thick it is, it really is perfect for bronzing. It contours the cheeks beautifully I don't really like that um, too much of a contour look anymore. I really just like a light bronze and this brush definitely delivers that. Um, it's just really a nice, beautiful bronzer brush in my opinion, especially once you wash it and it fluffs out the way it does, it's just perfect. So that's definitely a favorite. And then my most favorite for this whole video <laughs> is the Cuyudo Small White Canadian Squirrel Brush. This brush is incredible. And of course I've featured it before. It is dirty, it has bronzer on it, but I love this brush for bronzer. And honestly, most people probably love it for powder, but for some reason, if I was to pick one bronzer brush for the rest of my life, this would be the one. I mean. I can definitely see the hype behind Canadian Squirrel, White Canadian Squirrel, um, because very similar to like the Goat Squirrel mix, where when you go to apply the product, blend it, it really blends and diffuses so effortlessly. It bronzes so quickly. It's almost too quick because I just enjoy the experience of using this brush that I don't even want it to be done, if that makes any sense. Like I'll just sit here and bronze for what feels like forever because I just love this brush. And it's been laying in my um, brush drawer. So normally it looks even fluffier. You can see on this side where it's been laying flat, but honestly, it is just beautiful. It's got the Sakura handle and it's one of my most luxurious brushes in my entire collection. I'm just so grateful I was able to grab it and add it to my collection when I did because I completely understand the hype behind White Canadian Squirrel. It is just so beautiful and like the softness is insane. Absolutely insane. Look at the way the bristles just bounce. Oh my gosh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful brush. Love it. Again, if I was to pick one brush out of this whole video for bronzer, this is definitely the one. There's just something about it. I just adore it. And this one is 45 millimeters in length. So it is a really nice length for bronzer. And then the next brush I have is my customized Shushu Long. Saipi Coho Goat Hair and Red Squirrel. And this is 36 millimeters. Of course, I have showed this in my videos before, but I just had to place it in this video because ever since I got it, this is my fav one of my favorite bronzer brushes. Super soft and very similar to the Hakahodo goat squirrel mix where this gives you the best of both worlds and it's actually probably ever so slightly even softer than Hakahodo because it's the red squirrel instead of the blue squirrel mixed in a little floater there again this brush is relatively new i've only washed it once used it once and i'm already considering it a favorite 
but really, really gorgeous brush. And again, it really picks up product beautifully and diffuses it beautifully. And Shu Shulong, their bundling is out of this world. You can see it's just perfect the way they bundle their brushes. There's just no imperfections. It's just lovely. Love that one. And then the next brush is the Takeda 19 SOVD 40 EXS. And this is a 40 millimeter length brush. And this is with the extra fine Psycoho Goat from Takeda. And just look at those tips, they're just so fine. Almost translucent. And you can just see those little baby hairs. Just gorgeous. I really love this brush for bronzer as well. And it's just super soft and never ever feels pokey. You can just see how fine those tips are. Absolutely beautiful. And it would be a really good blush brush too. Definitely, you could use it for blush or for bronzer. And it's just lovely. And I love the length. 40 millimeters is probably one of my favorite from like 35 to 40. Um, it's just a very useful size in my opinion. So love, love, love that one. And then this next one is the Hakahodo G502. And this one is Blue Squirrel and Goat. And this one is 44 millimeters in length. Bear in mind, I have had this one and the next one I'm gonna talk about in a brush guard. So normally it really fluffs out much more, <laughs> way more. Um, the density on the G502 is perfect in my opinion um, because it's got beautiful density, but it's not too dense. So it really moves on the skin really beautifully. And as I spoke of before, the blue squirrel and the goat combination it's just really nice, very soft, diffuses very beautifully. And um, of course this could be used for a powder brush, blush brush if you'd like, but I just love it with bronzer. It's just lovely. And I love that shape, the way it tapers at the top like that. You can really, really get a perfect bronze with this brush. I love it. Honestly, probably one of my favorite Hakuhodo brushes of all time. Really, really nice brush. And the next one, or the last one, is the Hakuhodo G501. Yep, G501. Um, this is also 44 millimeters in length. And you're going to say, Nikki, that literally looks like the exact same brush you talked before this one. <laughs> but it's more dense. And the price difference on Hakuhodo's website it shows. <laughs> um, love this one for bronzer as well. It's also blue squirrel and goat mix. Same shape, but it's denser than the G502. So if I was a new collector, in, or if I was thinking on going on Hakoda's website and I was trying to decide between the G502 and the G501, I would say just go with the G502. Only because they are so similar and the price difference, it's it, it's really kind of crazy because they're pretty much almost identical. Um, I love them both for bronzer, but if I had to choose, considering the price difference, I would get the G502 because it's not too dense, but it still has beautiful density to it and it moves on the skin so beautifully. The 501 does as well, but you can see a little bit less movement because of the density. So they are just so similar. It is actually insane. But the G501 on the right is just slightly denser. But does it really warrant that price difference? I don't think so. So I'd go with the G502. But if you did get the G501, you would not be disappointed. It is really beautiful brush and I really like its density. So I don't mind having both <laughs> as a collector. Um, really nice, soft, lovely on the skin, 
and you could use this for blush and powder as well so it's this kind of shape is just very versatile in my opinion so it's really nice to have and it's probably my favorite shape i love paddle shape brushes as you can tell <laughs> a lot of my collection is paddle shape brushes but yeah so anyway i hope that was helpful and oh i just love this white canadian squirrel so much honestly beautiful so but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions down below and i will see you in my next one bye guys